Hi Leo. Welcome to the Cosmic Jackal Tarot. I'm your host. Thank you for tuning in. So a short disclaimer. I just started school and I, well, I'm enrolled, but I start next week. So my weekends are going to be a little all over the place as far as like trying to make time to edit and study and everything. It's going to be iffy and work is a little complicated because there will be days I may have to work on Saturday. So moving forward up until like about April, it's going to be very sporadic. Like when I finally have time to upload, I just want to let you guys know that now. But without further ado, Mercury is in Pisces. And with that being said, that would be the focus on your communication and possibly career is what we're going to be focused on for this week's reading. And they, I think it's going to be in that placement for about three weeks. So this should hold you over in case I've been kind of, you know, your daily dose of uh, <laughs> tarot readings. And if so, I appreciate that. But one other thing is I will be rearranging my house. So you will notice in the background things might change. Like I might be in a different room or something like that. I just wanted to give a quick disclaimer that things will grasp just like my hair changes almost every reading things will change drastically you know as time goes on so that being said last week i celebrated my birthday and i got two new decks for your readings coming on to you know future reference and whatnot we're gonna start off with the moonology manifestation and sorry i'm all over the place i only have a limited amount of time before i get ready for work and then when I get home from work, um, up until like maybe tomorrow, I still have to do the next six signs. So you're in the first cut. Congratulations. <laughs> so, um, okay. One card already fell on the floor for you. So I don't really have to shuffle, I guess. I know there was two, so I do have to shuffle. You know, I'm getting, like, people are poking you with sticks in a sense. Like, you're not even in a cage. It's just like, I feel like people keep testing you might be a thing i know one of my <clears throat> co-workers is a leo and she had to go off on somebody yesterday it was kind of scary well she said to go off like almost all week but we're under a lot of pressure at work so but you know she's mama she gonna be bearing those teeth and claws and roaring if she feels like there's some sort of disrespect like she don't play okay so you have last quarter moon in aries work through your feelings okay so Leo, I I feel like maybe in the past you've had a habit of like holding things back because you always feel like it's not your place to say anything on certain subjects, but no more, says Leo with their big heart and their loud voice. You know, I'm going to conjure fairness i might not be libra but i will balance that ass like keep playing with me i feel like that's your energy right now i'm gonna basically give you a theme for the week with the sailor moon tarot to see what's going on what we got for leo with mercury and pisces Okay, you have the sun in reverse and the star in reverse. I feel like you're not necessarily feeling like yourself. And what you're calling in as far as a wish fulfillment is you, you're not even waiting on the wish, you're just acting on it. Like, I feel like for you, you want to have a louder presence or you want to feel heard and validated. And if not you, you want the people around you to have a voice. Maybe you're speaking up for people who have been mistreated or, uh, you know, like there, there might just be like a sense of injustice and you're speaking up for it. Now we're going to go in with the newer deck. I have the Disney Villains Tarot deck. I think this came out about a year ago almost and I wanted it so bad, but nobody gifted it to me. I wound up buying it with some of the birthday money I got over the weekend. And I got to say, so far I really like this deck. It's, it's very nicely illustrated, but it seems to fit a lot of things going on uh, whenever I pull certain cards. So I'm like, yeah, this is, this is accurate. All right, what do I have for Leo? Come on, I gotta get something. Let me get something for Leo. All right, we got two so far. Everyone is getting this one card and it's scary. Like no matter how good I think I am at shuffling this deck, this one card has appeared for every reading. If you don't believe me, 
go look. <laughs> like it's it's kind of scary. I'm I'm not sure if any one reading has not gotten this specific card, but I'll tell you what it is in a second. All right, I need one more for my Leo. Oh shoot. Okay, we can't take that one. One more for Leo. Here we go. Okay, Leo, so you have the two of wands. You have the seven of, no, the eight of swords. Literally almost every sign is getting this reading or everyone so far. And then you have the page of swords in reverse. Ah, okay. So with the two of wands, soulmate energy coming in, there's something manifesting to give you, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's Merlin and that's, uh, I forget her name. Uh, I totally forgot her name. If you, if you know in the comments, go on ahead and tell me. But I'm like, um, yeah, I really can't remember her name. I'm like playing back all the scenes because I used to watch this movie a lot as a child. And I'm like, I should know her name, but I've forgotten. Um, the One of the witches of like, she's just a mischievous witch. So it could be like you're joining force, forces with somebody to do something and maybe you and this person in the past haven't gotten along but now you do or better yet you're joining forces with another entity to bring things into fruition now with the eight of swords in reverse i feel like someone or something is trying to put you in a mental prison could be like there's a lot of rumors going around or like somebody has like some sort of ill intention towards you i feel like somebody can't shut the fuck up like your name is always in their mouth it's almost as if like when when someone asked them how they're doing, they regurgitate like, I'm doing fine, but can you believe like Leo or they, they can't shut up about you. Page of Swords in reverse, like, yeah, you definitely have an immature fire sign like spying on you, talking shit, or it, it, it could be somebody that has air in their chart. If it's not that, it could just be somebody taking on like um, very immature energy here. Pages are people that like, you know, they bring messages and stuff like that or very small offers but then again i mean like this is lucifer no loose it's lucifer right i keep saying lucifer like the rats do or i mean the mice sorry <laughs> and cinderella and yeah he's like a messenger of like all kinds of dirty deeds he's just an asshole but that's pretty much what's lingering around you leo i feel like somebody just keeps like buzzing around to see what kind of information they can gather on you to spread like some sort of like ill word or intention against you, like somebody with the an evil eye presence in a sense. But whether or not you're letting it bother you, we're gonna clarify with the light seers tarot. I feel like Leo, for you, you're just like not in the mood for anybody's bullshit because you got a lot of things you gotta focus on too. You know? We all do, but for you in general, I cannot pick up this card for whatever reason. For you in general, it just really feels like if anybody is coming at you, they got to come at you correct. And if they, if they're feeling froggy, they better leap then shit. Like you're, you really, I honestly feel Leo, like you're just to a point where you roll your eyes and you're like, oh, is that all? Like, <laughs> excuse me. Ignore all my acne on my face. Sorry about that. I haven't really been able to take very good care of my skin like I normally would um because I'm, I'm just so busy and when i get home i'm supposed to do like a skincare treatment and stuff I, I literally lay down in bed to like rest my legs and my back and then i blink and i wake up and it's like hours later so like i'm trying to get into a, a healthier regimen but life just won't quit man okay so you have the wheel over the two of wands you have the Eight of Swords over the Knight of Cups in reverse. Both of them in reverse. And then you have the Seven of Swords with the Page of Swords in reverse. You know, Cancer had the Knight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune as well. No, Gemini had the Wheel of Fortune, but Cancer had the Knight of Cups. This is interesting. Okay. So with the wheel, like obviously you have a good karmic balance coming in. Something is coming to bless you. I feel like it could be a partner, but I'm also getting the feeling you're not really anticipating for a relationship or anything romantic at this time. 
It's more so like something is coming in to help you and guide you onto a divine path. And it's like it just fits. Like you don't have to force it. It's something that just works in your favor. Now, the Knight of Cups in reverse with the Eight of Swords. Again, I feel like somebody is trying to put you in a... You know what? Like it could be like somebody that like you try to give a chance to, but they were obviously on player vibes and you weren't having it. So, or it could be like, maybe you moved on, you found somebody new and then like your, the old flame heard about it. And now they're just trying to coax people into not liking you. Or you could be in line to get a promotion at work. And then like the fucking work snitch is like always like eyeing you, like trying to, are they eating when they're not supposed to be eating? Are they snacking? Did they leave crumbs? You know, did they, did they mislabel this? Like they're trying to do whatever they can to get you in trouble. Cause obviously like. It's either they don't like you or they're just jealous of the fact that, like, when you do things, it's almost as if, like, things just come together for you and not, like, for them, like, they're, they're, they wanted to be the work favor. They wanted to be the person that constantly brown noses and whatnot, or, you know, maybe they wanted to be with you or something, but, like, some people just don't like that the attention is on another person and they have their reasons for it. Those reasons might not always make sense, but it's how they feel. There's nothing you can do about that. Now with the seven of swords over the page of swords in reverse, yeah, definitely sneaky energy. Something is about to come into light. Like you're about to figure out who this is or better yet, you're about to bring it to justice and call this person out or this person is about to get called out. But Leo, for you, I don't feel like you have anything to worry about per se. Just understand that like when the, you know, the whole work through your feelings thing Aries got a similar me message and it's funny because um, it's like don't be a hothead was basically their reading but for you I'm like you're a fire sign just like Aries but with you you tend to be a little bit more thoughtful about how you want to react when you're upset whereas with Aries they just tend to like explode and then it's, it's like as soon as they explode they're done Sagittarius is the exact same way but Leo you like to give a lot more thought because you want people who have wronged you or tried you in some sort of way to really feel what it's like for you to get angry even though you're not really angry it's just more like a warning like you're allowing them to dip their toes in the water but will they try you again probably not and that wouldn't even your fucking full form at that point so that's your reading leo again you know just assess things and just trust that like things that are done in the dark will be brought to light you don't really have to do anything from your part like this will just resolve itself and the sweetest revenge is sometimes just allowing karma to do things because it swings a lot harder than you ever could so if you like this reading if it resonated great make sure to like subscribe and follow me if not that's okay you are not cinderella do not force this shoe to fit you deserve better Meanwhile, if you are cross-watching for a Leo or there's another Leo this might work for, then send it their way. Make sure to share me. Hey, I'm trying to do big things in this little fishbowl, okay? So, I want friends. You suffocate me a little bit. Nah, I'm just playing. But no, for real. Just make sure they put my name out there. It's going to get better. Like, this is only the beginning. And remember what I said? Uh, things will just kind of continue on their path. I'll try to make another schedule or I will upload at random and you'll see it when you see it. Meanwhile, if you would like a personal reading, make sure to either message me or comment down below and I'll get to you as soon as possible about pricing and what works for my schedule and when I can do it. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful time with uh, Mercury and Pisces. I will see you soon and take care. Bye. Love you. Mwah.